Welcome to Code Composer Studio Quick Tips. One of the most interesting features of Code Composer Studio 6.2 is the online resource explorer. This tool allows you to browse example code and navigate projects and packages for your device, and it also allows you to install the packages to your desktop with a single click. Question is Install your desktop, but where? Depending on the operating system, the location will vary. For macOS and Linux, the location will be inside your user area in this directory ti slash ti rex dash content. In this case, you can tell the package that I have here, they're matching the packages that I have installed there on my TIREX 2.0. In Windows though, the directory is actually not in your user area but in C slash TI. So it's in, in the case in Windows you would be a C slash TI slash TIREX content. Sometimes it may be interesting to move the packages around in your system so you can actually do version control or sometimes you want to freeze the uh, development environment to keep the same versions on a product that has become mature, things like that. So basically that is easy. Uh, you can simply move your uh, projects uh, somewhere, your, your product somewhere in your system and inside Resource Explorer you can click on the three bars and then go to Preferences and you can add the new directory uh, here using this menu. Another interesting detail you can notice is that it already has pre-populated the original installation directory of, uh, of CCS that I used and also application slash TI which is the default installed path for the products that you add to Mac environment. In this case you can notice, for instance, in my in my directory listing of TIREX content, I don't have, for instance, Energia. I don't have it here. So basically, where it is is actually it was picked up by the path there that I had it uh, by default here. So you can even add pa uh, products to your default, either C slash TI if you're using uh, Windows or application slash TI on Mac or your user area slash ti on uh, Linux. That's it. I hope you have enjoyed it and see you next time.